Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about the login process, the third series. Previously we have discussed about the registration, email verification. Now we are going to do, learn about the login process. Okay, so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's move to the code. So here we have the login system. So the last we have done with the, this one. So here we have the, no this we done later email also so let's do the email login okay so here we have the 905 and the password is same let's try to log in so here you can see that we received the login and we have the JWT token also and here you can see that the user information photos profile pic and everything right so let's see how we are going to do that all of this so go into the code level So here we have a auth controller, right? So here we have, we can see that email login, right? So here auth service validate login, whether this email and the password is valid or not. So validate the login first. So what we have to do, we have checked the first email. Okay. If it is not, then user not found. If it is not auth.valid login email not verified. Okay. So this is also one check that we have valid validating is valid by crypt compare password because we have to check the password whether the password getting from the user and the password that we have saved is valid or not is valid pass then with the help of the jw2 service we are going to create a token that here we are passing the email and the user db roles okay so whether you want to check you want you will send the email and the password also to create the token and in return we are getting the SS token and the user details. Otherwise, we will throw the error login error. Okay. So here you can see that. So here we have a create uh, create token part. So let's check the create token service that we have added in the JW2 service. Okay. Here you can see that. Okay. The model we are using the so user. Okay. So here ex we, have, we have a configuration expired secret user info token and return all of this information you can see that so here we have the all the expiring user info and all in the postman you can see that T data token expiring ss token so all the information we have here you have just here you can see that we can sign the user info for the secret key and return the expires in an ss token expires in an access token okay so this is the validating the jwt and creating the token okay so here we have a validate user also so the information is correct or not right so here we have the validate user also so this is basically the jw service to generate the token assess token uh, in the next you can see that uh, for that token we will update the profile we can upload the images or something okay so this th th there we can use that one right so uh, I think you get the idea like how the login process is working. Okay. So any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.